So welcome everybody. Welcome to Energy Play Shop number 52. And we've been doing, we've been kind of going through the different chakras beginning from the root chakra. And uh, this week we are doing the, the heart chakra. So that's that's our focus for this evening. Just to, to talk a little bit about the heart chakra. And also, uh, I think the bulk of the evening would be focused on clearing the heart chakra. So as always, I would like to start by doing a presence meditation, just a, a short meditation to get us all um, to, to let go of the day and to be fully present in this moment. So let's begin. Let's begin by just taking in a deep breath. So breathe in through your nose. Take a deep breath in slowly through your nose. And when you can breathe in no more, then just let it all go. Breathe out through your nose as well. And then breathe in again deeply. And let it all go. Do it one more time. Breathe in through your nose slowly and deeply. And then let it all go. Continue to follow the rhythm of your own breathing. For a few more breaths so that you can truly smooth out your own breathing and also start to relax your body. So every time as you breathe out, let go of anything and everything that does not support you in this moment. Any tension in your body, just let it go. You don't need to have those tension in this moment. And when you feel that your body is more at rest, then start to intentionally call back your energy. During the day, you send your energies out to people, places, and things that you occupy yourself during the day. So call back all of those energies. Detach from the people, things, and places, and simply let your energy come all the way back to you. More specifically, inside yourself. And when you intentionally detach and call back all your energy, you may feel that you are more solid. You may feel that there is more substantial energy within yourself. And simply focus all of your attention and energies on you, on yourself in this moment. And the emphasis is on this moment. Let go of the past. Don't even think about the future. Just be here with yourself right now. You have all that you need in this moment. Mm -hmm. 
And when you feel that you're all here in this moment, and can come back into the room. Let's take a deep breath in. And just stay in this moment. So welcome back, everybody. We're talking about the heart chakra. And um, the thing is, the heart chakra, every I would say most people would know where the heart chakra is. It because we're talking about energy centers. So it is not exactly where our physical heart is. It is more of um, the the chakra. It is around the the level of the body where our heart is, but it is kind of closer to um, our spine. So where our physical heart is at that level, but it is in the middle and towards the back, closer to the spine. So that is where our heart chakra is physically located. We have seven chakras in our body and the, the, there are um, the upper chakras, upper three chakras, and then the lower three chakras. And the heart chakra is really in the middle, in the middle. So the lower three chakras is all about relating to um, matter, people, places, things. Whereas the upper three chakras is more about ideas, spirituality, all of that. And in the middle sits the heart. And the heart is where we actually um, connect with our soul, with the part of us that is non-physical. So this, the heart chakra is really kind of like the, the linchpin between spirit and matter. It is when all the chakras are going and all the energy centers are, is flowing freely, then whatever it is that our soul wants to experience, we would be able to create that, make it into matter very easily. However, when we have some misunderstanding about what, um, how to translate what the spirit actually wants um, into physical matter, when we have misunderstanding about that, that's when we create these blockages within our heart, within uh, the, the, the lower three chakras or even the, the upper chakras as well. So that's why the heart chakra, it's kind of the, one of the more well-known chakras. However, it, as far as I'm concerned, it's a very, misunderstood chakra as well. Um, misunderstood because for the longest time we've been so focused on the body matter. And it actually took us a long time to actually figure out that, oh, we're not just our body. We actually have a soul as well. And then when we um, start to focus on the soul, I know myself, I did that is all of a sudden I found my soul and I kind of um, downgraded my body. And so I thought for the longest time that, you know, body is dirty, it's low, low vibration, it, that kind of things. And it's like I put all the emphasis on the, the upper chakras and I um, kind of look down on the lower chakras. However, that's also an imbalance. The, 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 that's usually how a lot of, that's why a lot of the, the spiritual people, they have trouble creating the life that they want um, while they are alive. It's because it's that imbalance. In, and it is about creating that balance. That's why the heart is right in the middle. It's about creating that balance between 
what the what is coming from the spirit and how to translate it and transform material in a way that is going to give us that spiritual experience. So that is um, what I, from my own experience, I'm not saying everybody would have that. Um, it, maybe you are very good at being able to create for yourself, create the experience in life that you want for yourself. However, that is, um, I'm just sharing my own experience with balancing the, the spirit with matter. And um, let's see, I just want to check my, okay, so I actually want to, to talk a little bit of something about um, the heart chakra. Uh, and more specifically, I want to bring out um, Bradley Nelson, Dr. Bradley Nelson has wrote a book called The Emotion Code, and he talked about this thing called heart wall. So he, he actually, through his work um, with energy, discovered that there is an energetic wall that we can create, that a lot of people will have that, because everything is energy, even though our body seems to be physical. However, it is simply just energy in, um, in the form that is, that, uh, that is so slow that we experience it as being matter however even matter is also energy and when you when things in life happened and you um, you have misunderstanding about what is happening or how to how to really interpret and translate what is happening and be able to process the energy that is coming at you, then your unconscious mind may use those unprocessed energy and actually create something called a hard wall, which is a protective, um, it's, it's kind of a protective method that the unconscious use the, to protect the heart. Because we thought that the heart is um, the heart is the most important part of our body. If your heart is not pumping, then um, you're not going to live for very long. So that's why the heart is really one of the, the one of the more major organs that our body would use most of its resources to make sure that your heart pumps properly. So one of the ways to protect the heart is to actually form walls so that it box you in so that you don't try to go and um, create events for yourself that's going to cause you more, um, I would say, to be able to experience emotions that you cannot handle. So that's that actually contributes to us shutting down as well. So he discovered this heart wall and how when we unconsciously, our body actually unconsciously would do that when we're not at the consciousness level where we know how to transmute the energy from our emotions because um, life happens. We don't always get what we want. And if we have not um, get to the consciousness level where we understand why we don't get what we want when we when we don't have that understanding then we have frustrations we have emotional traumas that um the the body feels as a threat so it will try to create that heart wall and that's how blockages in the heart can form and when energy forms that heart wall, after, after like it does not happen like, overnight. However, after a long period of time, if you still have not found a way to 
clear and transmute the, the energy that around your heart wall, then it actually becomes more, um, it becomes matter. And you may experience that as being, having um, some of your, your um, arteries being clogged, not running well, energy not moving, and it's your heart and sometimes your lung as well, because the, the heart chakra is also about the um, lungs as well. It's the, it's the arteries. So it's not just the heart, but the, um, because the, the element for the heart is actually air. So anything that to do with the respiratory system is also related to the heart as well. That's why when I do meditation, I would just, uh, one of the, the ways I, I do that is you actually imagine that you can breathe into your heart, which is, which um, makes energetic sense, even though physically um, that may not make sense. So um, I talked about the, Heart wall. Let's see what else do I need to talk about. Let's see. So, okay, actually, want to talk a little bit about um, why we have misunderstanding of the the heart. The heart is is really about love. And uh, for the longest time, we have intertwined in, um, we have intertwined survival with love. So human love, if you really looked at it, is very intertwined with surviving. It's, it's, it's kind of like, if I need my parents, because when I'm young, I need my parents to um, bring up to, so, so, to to support me. So if I need them, therefore I love them. So this the survival linked is is really how uh, a lot of our misunderstanding about love comes in. We we are codependent. So when we think that when we believe that we are, we depend on someone else when we really don't know that even as a baby we are no less a creator as when we are fully grown a baby can create just as well as a um, an adult and that we even before we were born we actually have made a lot of the arrangements for the for someone to look after us for some events to happen so that we can survive so that is really how even a baby can create their own experience and because we've been so focused on matter we think oh we have the small baby and we don't understand that we are actually eternal essence in this vessel of a small baby. So survival, fear, um, or, or any insecurity about our survival, and, and also all the um, needing to be accepted, because if we are not accepted, then we may not be able to survive. So all of these are all misunderstanding about love that we are all intertwined in love and we don't understand about um, unconditional love. That when we think of love, it, the human variety of love, it is very codependent for the time being. And I know as time goes on, we will learn more. Our understanding of what love is, is going to be expanding and expanding. So that is really our journey um, to 
to remember who we truly are. So a lot of the misunderstanding about love, about survival, is all to do with how we, um, the more we misunderstand, the more the, the energy is not working right within our body. So, and we are in the process of unraveling that. And that's part of the, 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 the things that we need to learn, that we can learn from clearing our heart chakra. So as I mentioned, heart chakra is, um, so the element is air. Just like the, the, the solar plexus, the element is fire. So the heart chakra element is air. So it's about breath, it's about rhythm. It's about, um, because it's air, so it's actually connection, connecting to everything. That's all what the heart chakra is here to teach us as well. And the main issues of the, the heart chakra is really love, our understanding of love, how we relate to other people and how we accept ourselves and others, actually how we relate to ourselves, not just how we relate to other people, how we relate to our own body. That's um, our relationship between the soul and the body is very important as, as well. When we can find that balance between the body and the, the soul, then um, the heart chakra would be able to run more smoothly. So the heart is about transforming because it is transforming and translating as well. translating. Um, energies into matter, about compassion, all of that. Uh, those are the main issues of the heart. So how do you know you have an imbalance in your heart chakra? Um, some of the mental symptoms could be being defensive. So when you, uh, when you feel that you, know, you have to always defend yourself, and then you know that there, there is an imbalance. Or if you feel jealous, jealousy. Um, or if you either like to be a martyr or a victim, a victim or a victimizer. So those are really a symptom of imbalance in the heart chakra. Or if you hold grudges, you don't like to, you, it's not easy for you to forgive. And you know that there is some energy stuck in your heart chakra that is making it more difficult for you to let go. So, um, and also being um, isolated. You don't like to socialize with other people. You prefer to just, you know, be in your own corner. So that's it's kind of the opposite of being codependent. You like to be by yourself, you like you're antisocial, or you are too much social that you really need other people to um, accept you, then either one of those are kind of the, the extreme. So those are more mental symptoms or psychological symptoms. And the physical symptoms of imbalance could be anything to do with um, respiratory disorders, so lung infection, or so lung infection, those things definitely, or um, any heart issues, circulatory issues, um, or uh, a heart arrhythmia. That those those are all symptoms of physical symptoms of imbalance. Okay, so um, so far I've kind of just talked about. Oh, okay, actually, there's one more thing that I really want to um, kind of mention. I, I think most of you understand that as well. You you kind of know, but I just want to throw it out there. Is um, if you really observe 
if you really observe other people, yourself as well, if you really observe um, all the emotions or anything that seems to be how you get on in life, it's all about the heart chakra. So that's why, um, so it's, it's not very articulate about this. Let's see. What I want to say is most of the time is really our misunderstanding about what love is that gets us into trouble pretty much most of the time, if not all of the time. Um, can I say all of the time? It feels like all of the time, a lot, all of the time. But I'm not willing to go 100%. I would say most, pretty much majority of the time when things uh, are not working out, if you really look at the underlying issue, it's really about a love. Not love from other people, but love for yourself. So when you really honor yourself and really get to know yourself that's why I think the 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 old wisdom is know thyself when you really know who you are and honor who you are and not um, try to look for validation outside your life would be much smoother it would be things would go actually you would be happier things would go smoother for you and a lot of the times it is when we have misunderstanding about love, of what love really is. That's when we um, lash out, we act out, we react rather than respond to the world in a way that is really not helping ourselves. So. That's just my uh, my last um, comment on this heart chakra. So lessons of love. Um, I guess you can say that we are here. Most human beings are here to learn about lessons of love. And our understanding of love right now is so distorted. How distorted? I have no idea. I uh, no idea how distorted it, it is. I just know that when you look out in the world, uh, all the um, things that seems to be wrong, it's because of a misunderstanding of what love is. Um, and we are here to really learn lessons of love. And that really is how our, um, that's why our heart chakra is so, important because when we can start to clear our misunderstanding of what love is what the love for other people how to relate to other people and also love for yourself when you clear up those misunderstanding then the world outside would have to reflect that uh, that which is within you so that's all I want to talk about, the heart chakra. So any um, comments, questions before we get to the clearing part? I, I have a comment. Sure. Um, I, I know of one case, although it's a small, it's a small case study <laughs> of um, um, a partnership, a, a marriage, where one partner died and the other person not so long after died of a broken heart. You know, like, like physically died of a broken heart. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's really powerful. Yes. Yeah, that's it. 
Okay, thank you very much for sharing. I know a couple who did that. Uh, the husband died in the bed next to the wife. And they were Iranian. They were the people living on my above me before when I came to this house. And, uh, and the wife was just in total shock. She could not handle life anymore. And within a couple of months, she passed away too. She, I believe, real, literally died of a broken heart. Literally. She just could not handle it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was just sad. Like, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, that can happen, unfortunately. Awesome. You know, we used to hear stories like that, but we never believed that was possible. We just thought it was like ethical. Um, well, it definitely is possible. Oh, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. And when this is just really such a great topic, I resonate with with all of this. Every imbalance you mentioned, I can put a check mark beside it. <laughs> and uh, and I'm happy to report that I'm working on all of those. And I think I'm, you know, obviously they still flare up, but um, I can see all of that within myself. And, you know, I recognized how important really loving self is to be able to love others um, more unconditionally. Um, because when you're, when you do have that imbalance, mm -hmm. you're looking for others to fulfill you. But when you can actually um, love yourself, then it's so much easier to share that love with, with others around you. So thank you for, for taking us through this and looking forward to the clearing too. <laughs> yeah, thank you for your comment. Any other um, questions, comments? Okay, if not, then let's do some clearing. <laughs>